This is ANN News Brief. Good morning. I am Lucy Adeyemi. Hundreds of mostly young women have marched in Liberia's capital, Monrovia, to protest against the alleged rape of dozens of girls at a U.S.-backed charity school, the Modern Mean Academy. The CEO of More Than Me, Katie Miller, had announced she would step aside after a report of ProPublica and Time magazine revealed their abuse. Protesters say girls are unprotected and there is a need to fix the system. They want the government to come in to help bring all of those that are involved to justice. The NGO has received almost $600,000 from the U.S. government. UK International Development Secretary Penny Mardont has said teams of detectors will be deployed to regional hubs in Africa and Asia to help ensure that sexual predators do not get jobs with aid agencies. Mardont says Global Police Agency Interpol will be involved in the project. The move comes after some aid workers have been accused of sexually abusing women and children while on humanitarian missions in the developing world. The five-year pilot is expected to cost $13 million, with the UK contributing almost $3 million. She added that the new Interpol project, named Operation Soteria, after the Greek goddess of safety, will include deploying teams of specialists to strengthen criminal record checks and information sharing between all members, totaling 192. Interpol Security Secretary General Jordan Stock says a critical part of Interpol's mission is to protect the most vulnerable members of the society from the most dangerous. Stay with us. We'll be back after the short break. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? Adam, go and bring us your husband. Okay, hello baby. We're in this together, okay? Can you hear me? Keep coming forward. Wait, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> you okay, Lucy, you alright? <laughs> Keep walking now. Keep walking to the left. Yes. You're almost here. Keep going. You are here. <laughs> wow, you did it. I'm just so glad I didn't have to use my cane to do this. And I am so glad no other man got you before me. Let me be your eyes. We will never stop working to give you a network you can rely on so you can enjoy life's special moments. MTN, everywhere you go. Ethiopian police say more than a thousand youth were arrested over political violence that broke out last month have been released from the country's Tole military camp. They were, re they were released after completing what the authorities call training on the Ethiopian constitution, rule of law and nation building. The arrest was strongly condemned by rights group Amnesty International and social media users who said the indiscriminate detention of the youth threatened the human rights gains made since Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed took office in April. At least 28 persons died in clashes near the capital Addis Ababa last month. That is ANN News Brief. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, annafrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV, Instagram and Twitter at TV. I am Lucy Adeyemi.